storms and heavy rains wreaked havoc on the region today. We're working for you. We're tracking the forecast for the rest of your weekend. And hundreds walk across the stage and into the next phase of their lives. It's graduation day at Marshall University. Working for you. 13 News in high definition starts now. Good evening, I'm Don Hammond. Thanks for joining us tonight. And I'm April Cole. This is 13 News at 11. Storms and heavy rains caused nothing but headaches for a local community. Cars abandoned, trailers even slammed into bridges. 13 News reporter David Iverson spent the day in Jackson County where the cleanup is already underway. Water rushing through this quiet Evans neighborhood in the dead of night. The first priority for responding fire departments. Hi everybody and welcome on into the new weather lab. Now we have seen again a couple of pop-up showers in the late afternoon. Those are all pretty much gone. Let's show you the live Doppler radar network and as we scan the skies. Mainly we're talking about up by uh, Pleasance and Tyler County. That's the only place we have any real showers. All the rest of this is clutter. Now very interesting again some fog could set up and uh, this system is pulling away but we'd like to get out there and see a little bit of the moon tonight when people are calling a big super moon. Temperatures are in the 70s and 60s. We'll talk more about all this and get you ready for your Sunday and the next seven days in just a few minutes. Don in April. All right, Spencer. I know it's been a busy 24 hours. Thanks. Sad note in the news now. Friends and family gather this afternoon to remember the life of John Dameron. Dameron is the DEP mine investigator who died when his vehicle plunged into the Kanawha River last week. Hundreds turned out to Elk Funeral Home this afternoon to remember the man friends described as gentle who always sported a friendly smile. Burial followed at Forest Lawn Cemetery. The incident that killed Dameron is still under investigation. More than 100 local firefighters are braving the elements this weekend for some specialized training. They're attending the Putnam County Fire School at locations in Eleanor and Institute. Learning skills like fire suppression, specialized rescue techniques, and overnight survival are taking place there. This is the 29th year for the school, and it attracted crews from eight counties. All of the attendees are volunteers, and organizers say that it's a very special group. You have people who will come out during their children's birthday party to come out and help a perfect stranger. Well, to do it, it has to be... And the Putnam County Fire School continues at both Eleanor and Institute tomorrow. More than 5,000 people braved the rain so they could take part in the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure this morning in Charleston. The event celebrates breast cancer survivors. It honors those who've lost their battle with the disease, and it raises money and awareness for the continued fight against it. According to the Susan G. Komen website, 75% of the money raised remains in West Virginia for things like research, diagnostics, screenings, treatment services, as well as education. The remaining 25% goes to national research. It really gives people the opportunity to feel like they're making a difference because the donations, the registration really is a donation that people make. They know it's going to stay here in state to fund the programs that otherwise would go unfunded. The Race for the Cure was a 5K walk and run. It happens every year, so be sure to plan and put it on your calendar for next year if you couldn't make it out today. True. Even further, when you want to have a little fun this summer. And a soggy Saturday can't stop a party 100 years in the making. Local Girl Scouts have something to celebrate. We'll tell you why. And look at this sunset. After all the rain and the storms, it was the perfect setup for an event that won't happen for many, many more moons. Chief Meteorologist Spencer Atkins has some mammoth moon facts headed your way straight ahead here on 13 News at 11. Now in high definition with Don Hammond, April Cole, and Storm Tracker 13 weather with meteorologist Spencer Atkins. Now, here's your Storm Tracker 13 weather. I was going to say, people in Scott Roberts, they know Spencer and April, but Don Hammond joining us here on the 13 News desk. We're thrilled to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. That's all for 13 News at 11. We'll be here throughout the weekend right here on 13 News. And for the latest weather, news, and sports, always go to WOWKP.